Norwich City's prayers have finally been fulfilled and finally been answered with their two saviors coming through and walking through the door today, putting on an absolute show and clinic. The youth stars and the bargains of the summer that I have been praising have come to tuition. The likes of Josh Sargent and Christos Tizolis, the two saviors of Norwich City, and for me, the solutions and the reasons why Norwich City will stay up in the Premier League this year and they are two pieces of absolute brilliance, two young talents, two young stars, and Norwich have done an absolute wonder strike to bring these guys in as new signings, and to play them in the cup against Bournemouth to integrate them to start off their careers at Norwich is brilliant. Putting them into a game with not as much pressure, but still putting them against a opponent that will challenge them, that will press them, that isn't an easy opponent, but it's still a cup game. And you put in Josh Sargent and Christos Tezolis. And for me, those two are North City's answer to survival. In my videos about talking about their transfers, I absolutely hyped the two up. Calling them absolute wonder kids and wonder deals. And they're massive. And I did predict North to stay up. And I did predict North to be a quite up table in the likes of 14th, 15th. And I know a lot of people are predicting to go down, predicting to get relegated. But I know people are going to criticize me for saying this. But after that performance, I'm really into the Norwich uh, project. People are going to criticize Daniel Falker on his play style and how he likes to attack and his pressing style of football and that he can't bring that from the championship to the Premier League. And they're going to criticize me for saying how I do think Norwich will stay up. But they have had some shake. It is a terrible run of schedule at the start of the season. And I know that usually when you have a terrible run to the start, it doesn't usually bid well for the next part of the campaign. But you, when you start off with Liverpool and Manchester City, no team is going to do good against that. You can't blame Norwich. But I do think they'll pick up against Arsenal. But this result against Bournemouth is massive. Not just the goals they scored, not just how they scored them, but the way they played. They played fantastically. They didn't dominate in possession, but they did. You saw many of the goals be from turnovers from Bournemouth. A couple of them were for were from poor passing in the back from Nor uh, Bournemouth. And I know a lot of people will say, well, Bournemouth made a lot of mistakes. Bournemouth was the reason they scored. Christos Azolis and uh, Josh Sargent weren't the reasons they scored those goals. Yes, they were for me. In my video about Josh Sargent, I talked about his pressing abilities and how he likes to press the back line. And Josh Sargent did a beautiful job of that today with the likes of Christos Azolis. The way they pressed that back line of Bournemouth, the way they made them panic and pass faster and always know there was going to be someone pressing them at all times, made Bournemouth worried at the back and made their passing even a bit more worrisome, which was fantastic from likes of Josh Sargent, and I knew he would bring that game style into Norwich because Norwich is a pressing style team. And like I said, they didn't just dominate in scoreline, they dominated on the pitch. 16 shots to Bournemouth is 2 12 shots on target to Bournemouth, one. And they're very clinical, scoring six of the 12 on target. A very good performance out there by Norwich. And the reason I think these two are going to be their saviors, Christos Zolis is a Greek wonder kid. He is football's wonder kid. He looks like he is going to be an absolute steal of a deal. If they can start playing him consistently as they've now put him and integrated him into the team against the likes of a Bournemouth, going into that Arsenal team, you're going to have a Christos Zolis high confidence, positive attitude, hopefully start Josh Sargent with Timu Puki or ahead of Timu Puki because for me, Josh Sargent is now in form. Josh Sargent is positive. He has confidence behind his back. He's going to press. He's going to run nonstop. And I think against the Arsenal side, that's going to be massive against the Ben White, who is panicking of Pablo Mari, who is terrible. And with Christos Zolis, likes of Brandon Williams now coming in, for me, guys, I think Christos Zolis and Josh Sargent today showed why they will be the saviors for North City and the reason why they will stay up in the Premier League and why they are a good enough team. People will doubt me and criticize my opinion there. I know they will because a lot of people think Norwich is going to get relegated, but I really do not. I think he is a top-class manager and he has two world-class talents on his hand here. I wouldn't say Josh Sargent's world-class. I'd say he's a very top-class player. Zolis is going to be unbelievable. We saw it today. You guys might criticize me because I think it's against Bournemouth. But Bournemouth is a team I do see getting promoted. But guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on my opinions about Christos Zolis, Josh Sargent, the reasons why I think they'll be the Norwich saviors, and why I think Norwich is staying up. Do you guys think Norwich will stay up? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys think Christos Zolis and Josh Sargent will help keep Norwich up this season? 
But guys, if you haven't already, if that box is still red down below, hit that subscribe box. We are so close to 200 subs and it'd be amazing to get there. I'll pump out all the best content possible for you guys and I'll keep doing so with the best news, my predictions, my previews, my reviews, and all the best transfers and transfer rumors possible. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace!